It's so rewarding to be a part of the ARRL laboratory team. Some of the most important benefits enjoyed by our members come from the work done here in the ARRL lab. Every month we test the equipment that goes into QST product review. If you have a question about amateur radio, ranging from equipment, products, antennas, RFI, we have trained engineers who are here to help you. We also enjoy a good relationship with industry and government bodies. They're making decisions every day that can impact amateur radio, and we have seats at those tables to ensure that the decisions they make will include information about amateur radio and the impact those decisions could have on us. One of the most visible member benefits is the QST product for you column. Every month, the laboratory tests the equipment that goes into that column to ensure that the equipment meets the manufacturer's specifications. We then share those results in QST. When we do find problems, we work with the manufacturers to try to get those problems resolved so that when members buy that equipment later, it will perform better than it otherwise would have. Many members wait for the QST product review column before they make their purchase decisions. We have a screen room that we use to test products, keeping all external noise away from our sensitive measurements. It has about 100 decibels of isolation. We use modern calibrated test equipment for all testing in the screen room. This ensures that we have accurate and repeatable results. Our technical information service connects members with experienced radio engineers. Part 15B is a home residential device. It's also the most restrictive and quietest um, regulation that the FCC has below 30 megahertz. Some questions are quick and easy, others require a little bit more research. We get questions about selecting a piece of equipment, setting up a new station, selecting and using antennas, and of course the ever-present questions about radio frequency interference. One thing I'd like to tell new hands is not to get discouraged. Get on the air, make mistakes like we all did, and let the ARRL laboratory staff and technical information service be your safety net. We live in a world surrounded by radio signals. Some of those signals are the ones we listen to on the amateur bands. Others of those signals are noise that can cause interference to our operations. Here in the ARRL laboratory, we identify noisy devices and make measurements of those devices to determine whether they comply with the FCC standards for conducted and radiated emissions. The lab does a lot. Whether it's product testing or advocacy, it all helps members practice and enjoy amateur radio. I've worked here in the lab for 35 years and helping members is something we are all proud of.